So today is the time that we are going to take and install the fans up into this shroud. I found these eight foot workshop appliance replacement cords that has the ground. We're going to hook those to the fans and then plug them in, into the uh, outlets up above as well. I think I'm going to start off with moving a little bit of this. The paint is dry on the inside and on the doors, so I won't get the, the black mess everywhere. But uh, the fans are next, the installation. Then I'm going to rubberize coating the floor and get that sealed. Uh, I also have some cans of the uh, foam sealant. I'm going to go around the inside of the panels to try to find any cracks. I may not have enough. Uh, but stay tuned let's get this uh, day started I have two different this is big gap filler and this is window and doors I know from stories I've heard that if you use uh, a certain type it will bulge around the windows and the windows won't seal right so I'm just wanting to feel cracks I don't want it to expand and and move any portions of the wood All right, the little bolts and nuts are 10 millimeter on this. They do not have the thermostat hooked up yet. So what I'm going to use are just these wire nuts for putting all of this together. So what I'll do is wire one black one to the black one, you've got your white and black, wire those together, the green to the ground. But I think what I may do is go ahead, install the fan. and the thermostat box into place then shorten the length of my cable because this is all that I will use it for cut it down to the length I need for the position of the fan and see uh, just see how, how long I need, need my cable 
Well, all the fans are wired. They are turned on, thermostatically controlled. I am not sure what I'm going to set them on yet, but now I'm going to clean up the inside of the floor, go ahead and put that uh, leak stopper rubberizing compound on the floor, get that done. But uh, let me show you up close the fans and what's going on. And I put the electrical switch on the outside so at any time I can turn off a set of fans. So I can decide which ones I want to leave on or if I need to just shut the whole kiln down for a final drying mode with no air movement at all and, and make the uh, temperature go up. The uh, current temperature is a little over 100 degrees right now inside of here. Well, it's morning time, getting an early start to finish my project. Had my son Jordan go pick me up another can of uh, this leak stopper. And I'll finish this up. What are you doing, kitty? You don't want to be in here. Your feet will stick. This stuff is very, very thick. And I've just been putting it on with a finishing knife, tape knife, wallboard knife, whatever they call these things, and a scraper. And it starts to get messy when you start to get to the bottom of the bucket. They make this stuff in a caulk tube as well. I'm starting to see a few bare spots on the floor. I may have to come back with some of that later and fix. But thinner. I'll show you a picture of the jug of the stuff I'm using. But 
but it's paint thinner that you can use to clean up with. Getting ready to get started on my next project, that side shed over there on the hay barn. So I have a place to put my Woodland Mills sawmill. If you haven't seen any of those videos, you may want to go back and view those. Um, I've got plenty of projects to do here on the farm with sawmill lumber. And it's just a matter of getting, uh, working with the weather and getting stuff done. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Paint thinner cleans and thins, thins oil-based paint stains and varnishes used on brushes and equipment. 65% renewable content and low lower fumes. Welcome to Clean Strip Green. Anyway, there you have it. Well, it's a September day. The uh, solar kiln is running all four fans. It's right at 110 degrees. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, already started on the hay barn for the lean to. And those are, uh, I forget, two by 10 boards. Anyway, inch and a half by nine and a half or nine and a quarter uh, from the pine log sawed up some time ago. And off the same log are those uh, big seven by seven posts. I think they're right at like seven and a quarter inch, both directions, uh, 14 foot long. But those will be the posts, will be the uprights. And uh, actually found another uh sawyer a, a a guy that's on the side saws lumber and uh, i'm going to get a 20 foot beam from him to make a 20 foot opening on the side in order to be able to use the lean to on the side of the hay barn for uh sawing in inclement weather but storing the woodland mills sawmill as well so anyway i'm up and at them already uh things to do weather's uh rain for saturday and sunday uh it, it's coming back we've had a, a few nice days low humidity pretty excited about that but uh thanks for tuning in